magician. the Atma of the Spirit and found thy reward in the powers proclaimed by Shiva. Thou shalt look into the eyes of men and they shall be a straw in thine hands. Thou shalt cause them to see what is not there, even unto a gathering of twelve times twelve. My son, I proclaim thee one of the sacred company of the yogi and bestow upon thee the name of Shandu. Well, my son, to few indeed of thy race have the secrets of the yogi been revealed. To you, my teacher, I express my thanks. What more can I learn? Nothing now. The world needs thee. Go forth in thy youth and strength 
and conquer the evil that threatens mankind. I have gazed in the crystal and have seen the forces of death and destruction rising from the brain of a madman. Look. Who is this man? This man is Roxor, last of an ancient family that lived in Alexandria. He has built a home in the rock temple of Maidun that stands on the great cliffs above the third cataract of the Nile. Why am I appointed to fight this man? It is fate who has chosen thee for the task, my son. And because no man fights so well as when he is protecting his loved ones, fate has thrown thine own family in the path of this human monster. Look. Dorothy, my sister. Yes. Her husband has brought his family to Cairo so that he may be near his friend, Roxor. secret of enormous power. Yes, for years, my brother-in-law has worked to perfect a death ray strong enough to destroy whole cities. But he's never found it. of Roxor means an end to goodness, an end to all that is noble, all that is saved. Can't you 
do something. But surely the police must be able to find some trace of him. Oh, please telephone me as soon as you have any news at all. Thanks. Oh, Mother. Mother, you mustn't worry. I'm sure we'll hear from Father soon. Mother, look at the letters I found. Where did you get the letters? In the laboratory. The laboratory? You didn't go out there in the dark now. Oh, Mother, how could anyone be hanging around the garden in this sandstorm? I thought I might find some clues in them. But you mustn't go outside again. Why? Did you see something? Tell me, did you bolt the door when you came through? I... I don't remember. What did you see, Mother? Nothing, Bobby. Maybe foolish. But I thought I saw a face peering at that window. Oh, Mother! Let's go away from here. We can't, dearest. Not until we have some news from your father. Listen. I thought I heard a door close. What's that? Oh, Frank! Oh. There, there, now, don't cry, don't cry. I've come here to help you find Robert. <gasps> Uncle Frank, do you know about Father? Yes, dear. Do you know where I he is? I want to talk to you alone, Dorothy. My, my, Betty Lou, how you've grown. And Bobby, too. But he's too big to kiss. Yes, sure, we're grown up pretty nearly, Uncle Frank, so why can't we stay and hear what you know about Father? I'll tell you everything later, boy. But there's something I want to know now. What's that? What was that bell that rang just before you came in? That was an astral bell. It tells you when a yogi is near. You're really a yogi now? Mm-hmm. And when I hear that bell, I know it's a warning from a yogi that danger threatens. It's only a fried dog down by the river. Oh. Now that I know your plans, no money on earth would persuade me to sell you the secret of the death ray. If you try to approach me again, I shall denounce you to the authorities. I'm convinced you are a madman and should be dealt with accordingly. Do you know whom this letter was intended for? No. Roxar. Roxar? I'm sure of it. Roberts is prisoner. Where? That I don't know. I tried to communicate with his mind, but the crystal revealed nothing. He must be... Dead? No, no. Just probably drugged, that's all. Unconscious. Robert Regent, I'm calling. Calling. You see, it's useless. I'm calling and there's no response. Aren't you here? Roxor. Where did you see Roxor? At the wine cellar of El Bajo.
Open in the name of Osiris to blind eyes, sealed lips, deaf ears. I wish to see Roxor. The Fendi is speaking with a friend and may not be disturbed. He will see me. Tell him it is Princess Naji. Bring the princess here. We must not let her find you here, Abdullah. I don't know yet whether she is to be a friend or an enemy. She proves to be an enemy. I beg you, let me deal with her. What? Do you hate the princess Naji? I hate her, yet I want her more than I've ever wanted a woman before. Very well, Abdullah. If Naji opposes me and you serve me well. There shall be a new slave in your harem. Come in. Let me have your cloak. that I may not feast my eyes on your lovely figure. Why have you sent for me, Boxer? Why? To offer you my friendship. Well, here we are. Yes, but how are we going to get in? You're not going in. You're going to stay here and watch. But it'd be much more fun to go in with you. Listen, Bucky. In case anything happens to me, your mother and Betty Lou will need a man to protect them. Stay here. You have the word, brother? Cyrus, to blind eyes, sealed lips, deaf ears. But my people are happy and contented. The great dams have multiplied our crops a hundredfold. What if I destroy those dams? What? Yes. Yeah. And I can do it with one blast from my death ray. Then where will your people be? More than a billion tons of water will sweep down on them, drowning them like rats. The greatest floods in the biblical deluge. So, unless my people will join in making you a modern pharaoh, you will annihilate them. <laughs> pharaoh. I shall be greater than any pharaoh. Civilization and all its work shall be destroyed. Men shall return to savagery. Knowing only one supreme intelligence. Me. <laughs> you see, you're my prisoner. Every man in this house is my servant. You can't keep me here. Chantra, you are to be sent to a friend of mine as a present. Call me, Master. Take this woman through the tunnel to the river. Their boat is waiting. Come! Come, Naji, quick. Chandu! Come. What's 
the trap, you. Stop them! Stop those fools! Uncle Frank says she's descended from a long line of ancient Egyptian kings. And are we really going to her palace? No, Bobby. We're going to her dahabia. <laughs> her daha what? Oh, Bobby, don't you know that's a houseboat? And the princess says we'll have to travel all night by camelback. Won't that be mm -hmm. great? Wasn't it strange that chance should have sent you to look for Roxor just when I needed you most? It wasn't chance, Najee. It was fate. I mean, it was, uh, it was fate that brought me in front of that door. <laughs> At first, I didn't recognize you. Did you see, it's three years since last we met. Remember? Yes. Those days in Paris. I thought a lot about them. I know. In a yogi monastery, there's a pool where you can see the face of anyone who's thinking of you. And did you see my face in it? If you would have looked in it, you would have seen mine much often. Mother, do you think the princess can help us in finding father? I don't know, darling, but Uncle Frank says we'll be much safer as her guests than to be left here alone. Well, I shouldn't be frightened anywhere with Uncle Frank. Oh, look, there are the camels. Mahaffey, are you ready to leave? Yes, Princess. And tomorrow, some will see us there. Kush. Kush. You blooming idiot. Don't you understand plain English? Bully, boo, kush. Oh, why don't you kneel down when I ask you to? Oh, I wish I had it. Captain Chandler. That's all right, Miggles. Don't salute me or don't call me Captain Chandler. We're out of the army now. What are you doing in that fine-looking get-up? Nursemaid to a blooming camel. Oh, I'm so happy I met you, Captain. You've got to get me out of this. You've got to give me a job. I'll work for you for nothing. After all, I was a good orderly, wasn't I, sir? Are you still drinking, Miggles? Well, sir... <laughs> A uh, change in the subjects. Do you still do your magic tricks? Oh, much better ones. Look at me. Now look behind you. <laughs> Take off your hat. Why, you, you dirty little snooper. Who, me? Oh, oh, he can talk. Oh, take him away. Oh, make him go away. That's all right, Miggles. He's only in your mind. Oh, don't tell me I'm going balmy. He's gone. How would you like to take a very dangerous trip with me? Sure. You know me. I love danger. <laughs> all right, then. Come on. Oh, thank you, Captain. Thank you. But every time you get drunk, you're going to see that little fellow. Understand? I understand. Oh, my goodness, Governor, this is the finish. When a man starts to see things like that, well, it's time to quit. Okay, you all right, Princess Najee? Yes. Get empty! Miggles, behave. 
I can't thank you enough, Nancy. Now that Dorothy and the children are safe, I'll be free to find Robert. I think I can help you. You, Najee? Yes. Roxor has been seen by some of my people near the ruins of Maydoon. Where are they? On the third cataract. How far is it? Not very far. My boat can be there in 24 hours. Go straight to Roxor and inform the master that the princess and the foreigner are on their way to rescue Regent. Tell him I will see that the white man gets no further than the houseboat. And now tell me, have you married since I saw you last? No. That's one feat of magic that requires a beautiful assistant. But you've been in love. All the time. <laughs> I might have known. There are too many charming women in the world. Not too many. No. Well, now, don't misunderstand me, Najee. All the time in love but always with the same woman. Do I know her? You should. She was a present to your father and mother on your birthday. <laughs> You're never serious, are you? Never so serious as now, Maggie. Tell me, have you found someone? Even if I had, my life belongs to my people. You know, you told me that three years ago. You think I'm foolish, don't you? No, dear. Just very, very young. And making an unnecessary sacrifice. Sometimes I think so, too. Hello. You have a visitor. His name is Abdullah. He's been coming here very often lately. Oh, I see. For the white man. It is Roxor who commands. I'll order some refreshments. Ali, some wine. You must be choked with sand and dust. You're right. I love the looks of the desert, but I hate the taste of it. <laughs> I thought I'd pay you a surprise visit. I'm afraid I'm rather in the way. No, not at all. But unfortunately, my boat is starting at once. And is the gentleman I just saw making this romantic trip with you? <laughs> Romantic is hardly the word. With a woman as lovely as you are, Najee, it couldn't be business. <laughs> you have a strange way of paying compliments, Abdullah. Who is this friend of yours? He is called Shandu. Shandu? Beg pardon, Captain. Is this where the danger starts? Not yet. That's funny. A telephone way out here. Strange. You haven't told me yet. Why are you going up the Nile? You know Roxor? Ro Roxor? Oh, is he that crazy scientist who lives in one of the rock temples? Yes. No, I've never met him. See the man you're going to visit? I understand that Roxer had discovered many valuable relics of the 12th Egyptian dynasty. Wait. Drink. Go on, drink. Wine is, is poison. Oh, Robert Regent, I'm calling. Robert Regent, I am calling. Robert Regent, where are you? Look, look, the crystal's clearing at last. Let me do.
boxer is trying to build a huge death ray. It's Robert. He's still alive. Roxor is there. Robert hasn't told him the secret. Oh, he'll torture him until he does. That's your servant. The man who gave us the poisoned wine. Roxor is punishing him because he failed. Chandu, this man is heartless. will kill him. Not as long as he has any hope of forcing Robert to give up his secret. What was that message the Arab just brought? I don't know. Naji, you say you know the way to this temple? Yes. and ran away, and he pinched my head. You've been drinking again, have you? So help me, Governor, it's true. I swear it on the heads of the unborn children.
your friends die. Oh, mother. <laughs> Before we die, accept my blessing. Professor Robert Regent. He is not here. Speak the truth. The master has taken him away. Where to? To the secret market of Bab Ducala. There, unless he speaks, he will see his daughter sold as a slave. What does it mean? It means that Roxy can do nothing by threatening Robert, so he's kidnapped Betty Lou. Come. Mate. Oh, 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 Captain. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Governor, take away those snakes. Come on, Nichols, pick up your gun. Pick up your gun. Take it away, take it away. Take it away, take it away. Never another drop, so help me. Are you ready to tell me the secret of the death ray? No. You still may change your mind. Never. Father! Father! Madeline Lou! My child! What are you going to do with her? That depends on you. Will you tell me the secret of the ray? No. Take her to the block. No, no, no! 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 no. no. Father! You shall stand at that window and see her soul.
command the wizardry of the East. What is his power? Uh, hypnotism. Nothing more. Is there no way through which we can attack him? Yes. One. Samson's strength was in his hair. Shandu's strength is in his eyes. something be done to save him. I'm going right back after him, dear, as soon as I get fresh horses. There. Miggles, be ready to leave in half an hour. Yes, sir. We're going to the Rock Temple. All right, sir. The Rock Temple, I think, he said. This calls for another drink. <laughs> Walking heidels and guns that turns into snakes. This certainly calls for a drink. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Oh. Me? What for? For seeing things again. Now go on. Hop it. Is that a nice way to behave? 
I thought you was a gentleman. And I thought you were a gentleman, too. Both mistakes, weren't you? Don't you talk back at me. I'm not talking back at you. You're talking to yourself. Touch another. Najee, why this costume? I'm going with you. No. But I might help you. No, darling. That last trip was too dangerous. I couldn't risk losing you again. At least I can go as far as the Oasis. Please. If anything happened to you, Najee, dear, do you think I could ever forgive myself? Do I really mean so much? More than so much. <coughs> <coughs> the horses is here, sir. Najee? No, thank you. You'd better order a horse for me, Miggles. Well, that's all right, ma'am. You can have mine. Miggles, what's the matter with you? You seem nervous. Well, it's, it's all this excitement, sir. Could you fix it up for me, sir, so I could have a drink without seeing anything? You haven't had one all day? No, sir. All right, Nichols, you may have one, then. Here's to you, sir. To you, Mill. I said, sir, here's to you. Oh, go and take a good swim. If you break it, it'll blind you. Well, here we are. Here, keep yourself hidden. Don't you worry about me. You have more important things on your mind. Never anything more important than you, Najee, dear. Sometimes I wonder if you really know the meaning of danger. I do, darling. I do when it concerns you. You know, I'm not a bit afraid when we are together. And you speak to me like that. And when you look at me like that, nothing else matters. Be careful. If not for your own sake, then for mine. A bargain. And you, darling. Be careful for mine. Take no chances. Quick! 
Bush was right. Your magic comes from your eyes. Shut up. Bring him to Roxford. That doesn't tell you how to operate your death ray. No? You followed Regent's plans in building this elaborate machine, but he still withholds the knowledge to release its power. Regent was near to breaking when he saw his daughter on the slave block, wasn't he? Yes. If torture threatens his wife and children, what then, Abdallah? In a few hours, his whole family will be here. How? In that cell. He's now writing a letter to them. Ready. Is the letter ready? Where's Roxo? He is not here. If you take it to my family, they will reward you. It is only a letter of farewell. The letter will be delivered, Effendi. Thank you. of Robert Regent. For the wife of the Effendi. Mother, are you sure that's really from father? Look, darling, it's his writing. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if we really could save him? We must save him. I'll get ready. But, Mother, there's no need for you to go. This is a man's job. But there's no man here. Well, how about me and Miggle? How's that, sir? I was just reminding Mother you were a man. Well, does she have to be reminded? If I could only get this bandage off my eyes. Oh, if I could only help you. <laughs> Najee, Najee, what a fool I was to let you come with me. Don't say that, Chandu. If these are to be the last hours of your life, I want them to be mine, too. If I could only get you out of here, see you safe once again, it doesn't matter what happens to me. Oh, I feel so much closer to you now than ever before. Oh, Najee, I can't think of losing you now that I've found you again. Tell me, if all this hadn't happened, would you have left Egypt, gone with me? You had only to ask, and I'd have followed you anywhere. If this is the end, Najee, let me hear you say I love you. I love you. And I love you. Well, Chandu, we meet at last. 
It isn't quite as you planned. So, is it? Remember this, Roxor. That the best laid plans of men sometimes go astray. What do you mean? I mean that my will is stronger than yours. That it will conquer you. It's a lie. Is it? And why are you afraid to look me in the eyes? I'm not afraid. Your eyes would have no effect on me. Then take off this bandage. If I were alone, I would. These silly natives, they believe your tricks. You're afraid, I tell you. Take the bandage from his eyes. Now take it off. Come. Come. Don't let him fool you. Get rid of him, once and for all. All right. Raho Jubula Hold. You can't do that. You can't bury him alive. <laughs> Why not? For the favorite punishment among the priests of Isis who build this temple. No! You'd be far better off to kill him. Why? Yogis have been known to remain buried for days. Yes. But not under water. No! Am she? No! No! Roxo, Roxo. Why are you calling him? I'll tell him how to work the machine. No, but you mustn't. You said it would mean death to millions. I'm going to, I tell you, if you let you and the children go. We won't go. We won't save our lives at such a cost. Hmm. Why, the family reunion. Let them go, Roxo, I beg of you. Let them go. There is a way out of this cell, and I'll show it to them. But not while you are in there. Just let me stay here. I don't care what you do with me. was a way out, region. That is the river down there where your friend Shandu has gone.
found me the beam carry. Halfway around the world. Harry, Harry! Is it ready? Yes. Back to yourself. of the world shall perish. All that lives shall know me as master and tremble at my word. Ah, yes. <laughs> City of fools, proud of their Napoleon. What will they think and they feel the power of Roxor. <laughs> In England, the sacred tradition, its king, its triumph, its, its navy, will be helpless. <laughs> They shall bow before me in worship. Me, Roxor. I will destroy the dams of the Nile. And its roaring nuts shall sweep down upon hundreds and thousands, drowning them like rats. Raxor, the god whose hand kneels dead. <laughs> No, you don't frighten me. You can't move that lever. I move it now, and you're standing right in the butt of the way. Your hand is powerless to move, Roxor. It's a lie. You shall be the first man for the right to kill. I have come out of a coffin from the depths of the Nile. My will brought me here. And that will is stronger than yours. You are helpless. No! Stop your hands. Now stand there. Don't move. Turn over. Are you safe? Are you all right? Yes, I don't care. I've doubled the speed of the generator. The voltage is mounting. The ambience at white heat. The machine will explode in a moment. Get out of here, quick. Not that way, Frank. I'm all right. Hurry. 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 Hurry.
school. Are you all right, Nazi dear? Uncle Frank. Uncle Frank. Children. Oh. Dorothy. <laughs> Thank heaven you're safe, Frank. Oh, that was brave of you, Robert. To set the machine to destroy even your whole family. Rather than give it to Roxor. <laughs> Where can we get a drink? You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Come on.